In this video, we're going to be talking about the Pythagorean Theorem. The Pythagorean Theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and it only applies to right triangles. It's a way of finding the missing side of a right triangle. A right triangle is a triangle that has one right angle, that is a 90 degree angle. A right triangle always ha also has what we call the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the longest side of the right triangle, and it's always directly across from the right angle. In this example, we have two known sides, and we're looking for the missing side. In this case, the missing side happens to be the hypotenuse. So the first thing we do is we jot down the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and we replace a and b with their known values. We replace a with 3, we're replacing b with 4. So now we have 3 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared. Now we're going to square these numbers. 3 squared means 3 times 3, and that's 9. 4 squared means 4 times 4, and that's 16. So now we have 9 plus 16 equals c squared. And we need to add the 9 and the 16. That will give us 25. So now we have 25 equals c squared. And we need to square root both sides, because that's the inverse of squaring. That's going to cancel with the exponent. That's how we get c by itself. So we're going to have the square root of 25, which is 5, equals c, because that's the square root of c squared. So now we know the length of side c, and it's 5. So I'll just write 5 right there. And let's try another problem. You don't always get whole numbers for these problems. <coughs> and in this example, we're given the hypotenuse and one of the legs, and we're asked to find the other leg. So, just to make it a little more interesting, and let's go ahead and plug in these numbers where they go in the Pythagorean Theorem. I'm replacing a with 10, and I'm replacing c with 12. We must make sure that we plug in the hypotenuse for c. That's very important. We can mix up a and b, but we can't mix up the hypotenuse, so we'll get the wrong answer. <coughs> but a and b are on the same side of the equation. 10 squared is 100, and 12 squared is 144. So now we have 100 plus b squared equals 144. And we need to subtract 100 from both sides. Minus 100, minus 100. So this is where it differs from the previous problem. We didn't have to do a step like this on the other problem because the known values were on the first side and we were able to combine them after we had squared them. On this side the hundreds cancel and we're left with b squared equals 44 because 100 minus because 144 minus 100 is 44. Now we're ready to take the square root of both sides <coughs> and we'll have b by itself. Well, the square root of 44 is 6.633. You can do that on a calculator. So now we know that the length of side B is approximately 6.6. .6. I'm going to round that off. And I want to show you one more example. This example is an application of the Pythagorean Theorem. Suppose we have a building here and a ladder leaning up against the side of the building. And let's suppose that the ladder is extend seven feet from the base of the building. Well, notice here we have a right triangle. So if we want to know how high up the side of the building the ladder extends, we can use the Pythagorean Theorem because that's one missing side of this right triangle. If we know the length of the ladder is 12 and it's seven feet from the base of the building, we can call this side A and we'll call the other leg side B. We don't know what it is. <clears throat> and the hypotenuse is going to be C, of course. The hypotenuse always has to be C. Like I said before, we can mix up A and B. I could have just as easily called this A and this leg B, but we can't mix up the hypotenuse. If I mix up the legs, I'll still get the same answer, but I won't get the right answer if I if I don't plug in 
the hypotenuse for C. That's going to go in right there for C. So now I have 7 squared plus B squared equals 12 squared. And 7 squared is 49. And 12 squared is 144. So now I have 49 plus B squared equals 144. And next I need to subtract 49 from both sides. Minus 49, minus 49. By both sides I mean both sides of the equal sign. And this cancels on this side and I'm left with B squared equals 95 because 144 minus 49 is 95. <clears throat> and I'm ready to square root both sides. That eliminates the exponent. That undoes the exponent. Now, <clears throat> I'll have b by itself. And the square root of 95 is 9.8. So now I know that this missing side was 9.8 feet. So that tells me that the ladder extends 9.8 feet up the side of the building. And we were able to do this problem because we were able to make a right triangle out of it. And we knew two of the sides. One of the sides was the hypotenuse and one of the sides was the leg. And we needed to find the other leg and that was B in our example. Because we called the 7A and and uh, the unknown was B. We could have easily called uh, 7B and the unknown A and it would have been fine as long as we don't mix up the hypotenuse. Well, I hope this has helped you understand how to use and apply the Pythagorean theorem a little better.